Let me just tell you guys that the sprinkle sprinkle method 100% works and I even tested it out because earlier this year I was talking to this guy and I was just being myself no sprinkle sprinkle method none of that and I could tell he did not take me serious at all. Every time we hung out, I would be the one to drive to his area and it was a far drive, like 30 or 40 minutes. And I noticed like every single time we went out to eat, he was super stingy and it just made me feel awkward. And also he never got me flowers. He never got me any gifts. So I could tell he was not taking me serious at all. And that's why we never advanced to a relationship. We just didn't take each other serious. No, you didn't take him serious because you were busy trying to worry about what he was going to do for you. And here it is again, another one of these videos, you know, with this, these women talking about this sprinkle, sprinkle lady. Look, this sprinkle, sprinkle lady is older than the majority of these women that make these videos. She's married. And I'd highly doubt that she's in control of her relationship. She writes books that these women buy. She's teaching women to just be very self self-centered and selfish and just to try to go after men. She's not even actively out there in the dating market. How is she giving any type of advice to women about how to find a husband, how to find a man and all of that? It just makes no sense at all. And that first guy that she was talking about, he just wouldn't let her get away with what she wanted to do. That's what it is. That, that's what they call um, him not being, you know, into her or not taking her seriously, as she said. Fast forward to another guy I was talking to who I did use the sprinkle sprinkle method on. He was head over heels for me. I would purposely stress him out a little bit. I wouldn't be easily accessible. I wouldn't text him all the time. And this guy bought me gifts all the time. He got me flowers. He would not let me drive ever. And he would drive far to hang out with me. He's a simp. That's all it is. And there's a lot of simps out there. There's a lot of men that believe that they have to pay for women's time. And they're a big reason why we have so many issues in relationships. Because they're constantly giving women things that they don't earn. Because women don't feel like they have to earn anything. I can tell right now looking at this video right here. She is, she is attractive. She's pretty. And she thinks that that's all she needs. This is the mentality that a lot of these women have. And they're sad. It, it, they're really sad. They think this is the way to go though never let me pay he would always pay no matter what and i wouldn't i would not even have to bring my wallet but i would have to use those techniques on him so with that guy i always stayed mysterious i never told him too much about myself i would never spend too much time with him and i wouldn't text him too much i would let him just wonder like what am i doing and i was just staying super feminine with him as well and every single time we hung out he would say thank you so much for spending your time i know your time is so valuable like I'm telling you guys, this guy was head over heels. And I all I did different was use the sprinkle sprinkle method. And I know a lot of y'all are like, oh, I don't like to do that. Like that's playing games and that's childish. It's not a game, okay? Like it's just understanding how men are wired. And as a female, you have to act a certain way to get a man to be attached to you. And it's not games because men like to chase, okay? They need a job in order to be attached to something and they need to be doing something. If you're doing all the work, the man is not gonna be attached. He's just gonna leave. So that's what I learned is that the sprinkle sprinkle method really works if you want a man to get attached to you or if you want a man to love you and put a ring on your finger. Let me just- Okay, so let me give y'all some game, some more game on the sprinkle sprinkle and other women that are like her. This is what they have done. Cause I've been around for a long time. I might look older are younger than I actually am on this video, but I'm not going to tell you how old I am right now. But anyway, this is what they're doing. Women like her are reading old pickup artist books from men and they're adapting that to fit women. And they're telling women to act like that. Everything that she just described is in pickup artist books. Let's say from like the, the late nineties, two thousands. Okay. That is what she's doing. And I've seen the sprinkle sprinkle ladies many times and i've said this before about what she's doing and she even wrote a book about it and these women are buying it this method does not work all women are going to do are, are find weak men that are willing to just bow down and bend over for them to do whatever they want and these men are just going to take get taken advantage of all the time men like the chase but it's warped what these women are trying how these women are trying to describe it they have converted courting into chasing. You see, courting is a traditional thing that men used to do with women. But these were women that were uh, verified 
or just completely different types of women back then. And men had no problem doing that because the women were different. Today, it's not the same. There is nothing about the majority of these women that is uh, traditional. Nothing. The way they move, the way they talk, everything is different. But they want to be treated as if this is 1950. But they're the first ones to say, oh, we're not going back to that. When women were just in the house and doing all that, well, there's certain conditions that come with what you de you're describing. I don't care how fine you are, how beautiful you are, how young you are, how old you are. As a woman, you do not deserve that if you're not a traditional woman. And any man that's doing that and giving you that, always paying, always paying for this, buying you flowers, doing all this stuff, you don't respect him from that, for that because deep down inside, your DNA, your biological nature as a woman can't respect it. It's not who you are. So you can make videos all day and say it's the way to go and that you're attracted to these men to do that, but you're not. You don't commit to them. You don't, you don't marry them. And if you do, you eventually divorce them very shortly thereafter. Or when you have enough equity built up, you divorce them and then you leave because you don't respect them. No woman wants to be with a, a weak man. And no man wants to be with a woman that's all about money and that's all about her sexuality. It's as simple as that. So you can listen to women all you want to. If you're a lady and you're watching this, you can listen to her. You can listen to the sprinkle, sprinkle lady. But who you should be listening to is men and what act and what men actually want. Because see, older men like me and men with experience in general, we know better. We don't fall for these games. What we do is we play along with the game to get exactly what we want. And then we're out. And then you're left wondering, well, why did he ghost me? Why doesn't he talk to me anymore? What happened? He was just here and everything was fine. Men know how to play the long game. See, we don't lead with our emotions like you do. See what I mean? We just take what we, what, what, what we can get. We're not out there trying to get it all. We're just trying to get what we can get, what we could have as far as women in relationships. Because see, men, men don't have a lot of options like pretty girls do. Even a four or a five does in woman's stature on the scale. The majority of men can't even compete with that as far as the numbers. So you guys have a lot of options. So you like to play a lot of games. That's why you're constantly running around the block thinking you're going to find something better. Why you just constantly step over the men that are best for you. Like I said, the first guy was a champ. The first guy knew better. The last guy is a simp. And you're talking all this and saying all this about getting married and all this and that. Where's your ring? Where's he at? He ain't in the car. I don't see no commitment from him. But you in a video trying to tell other women to follow that garbage advice. Okay. Anyway, guys, this is my take on this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're on TikTok. Show me some love over there and give me some fo a follow. I really would appreciate it. And as always, have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.